This is Dr. Sidney Tyson from iAssociates, and I'd like to share with you a video about all laser bladeless LASIK. We get a lot of questions for folks about how LASIK is actually done, and I'd like to share with you how it's done in plain English. To begin with, the majority of people have what's called myopia, and that means that they're blurry for distance, but they can see up close. And in representation form, it means that when light comes into the eye, as you can see by these three rays that go through the cornea, through the lens, and then focus to a point, it's supposed to focus on the retina. But as you can see in the before image, it's focused in front of the retina at what's called the focal plane. What we try and do with LASIK is allow those light rays to focus on the retina by changing the shape of the cornea. And we do that with two different types of lasers. The first laser is an infrared laser called the femtosecond laser. And what that does is it creates a natural bandage called a flap. And we lift that flap up and out of the way and then perform the reshaping of the cornea with the second laser, which we call the eczema laser. This is an ultraviolet laser that reshapes the cornea and allows light to focus precisely on the retina. So what we will do is we will show you in real time with a real patient how this is done. And as you can see, we've entered the laser suite we have the two lasers. The first technician is shown next to the femtosecond laser, which will make our flap. I'm in the middle there. The second technician is next to the eczema laser, which will actually do the reshaping of the cornea. So here we have uh, the patient's eye, and the first step that we make is to put a suction ring onto the eye in order to keep the eye steady while we do the femtosecond laser. Now the femtosecond laser is a very special laser. It is ultra-fast, creates pulses, about 30,000 pulses a second, and what it does is it forms bubbles which connect and allow tissue to be divided on a molecular level. It's clean, it's cool, there is absolutely no pain involved with this procedure. Once the flap has been made, the next step is to lift the flap. Think of the cornea like a book of 500 pages. With the femtosecond laser, we have created a 100-page flap. Lifted that flap out of the way, and then we will do the reshaping of the cornea in the remaining 400 pages and put that 100 pages back in place. So here we open up the flap. It's very easy to do because it's already been separated. And then flip that flap back onto a hinge. That acts as a natural bandage. We dry the surface and prepare the surface of the eye for the eczema laser. It's being lined up with that cross so that it's centered over the pupil. And then the ultraviolet cool laser, the eczema laser, then reshapes the cornea in a precise computer controlled fashion. Each treatment is customized for each individual patient. Every eye is different. A lot of patients ask, what happens if my eye moves during the procedure? Well, there are natural eye movements that occur involuntarily, which the laser can track automatically and line the laser up to those movements no matter what. It's an infrared tracking system, so no matter where your eye moves during the procedure, the treatment is still centered onto the pupil. Once the procedure is done, we irrigate underneath the flap which is replaced back in place just like a natural bandage and fits right back like a jigsaw puzzle and all we do 
is dry the edges and we're done. The advantage of having an all laser LASIK procedure is that it is safer. Years ago we used to use a mechanical steel blade to make these flaps. As you can imagine, it's very imprecise and there were many more complications involved. Now, with the femtosecond laser, the safety profile has increased tremendously. I hope this video was helpful for you and will help alleviate some of the fear you may have about LASIK. Please visit us at our website where you can find testimonials and any other information you may need about LASIK. Or just set up a free consultation with me, Dr. Sidney Tyson.